Hello everybody, we are going to be doing a quick tutorial on our canvas embroidery. So it is quite easy once you get the hang of it, but we're gonna be doing a back stitch. So right now, this is the back side of the canvas. If you flip it around, you'll start to see that I already started doing the bottom base of our design. And then you'll see all of our punch holes for the rest of our design. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start continue building up our stem. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to poke a hole through the bottom of the canvas. We're gonna find that little hole that we made and we're just gonna stick our little <clears throat> needle directly through. We're gonna put it all the way up. Now, if you ever get a, anything that catches, you just wanna turn it around and make sure that it's pulled all the way through. So now that this is pulled all the way through, we put it through that next hole and now we're just going to go back stitch through and meet the green stitch that we just did and we're going to continue that process all the way through with this color so we're just poking it through the back side of the canvas and then we're just pulling it right back through the top now the one in the picture is going to be all the same greenery. However, if you do want to switch your colors, I'm going to show you how to switch it to the lighter green. So once we get to the point where we're, we're starting to see the next leaves, this is a great opportunity to end with this color. So what I'm going to do here is flip over the canvas and to close it out, I'm just gonna take my needle. I'm just gonna thread it through some of that thread that's already there so it's nice and secure. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna snip that right there. So now we are done with the darker green color and we are gonna move on. So I'm just gonna remove this thread from our needle. And we are gonna start with a lighter color to do the next set of leaves. So with that, we are gonna do two double knots onto our needle here. Sometimes helps to get it wet, to get it threaded through. And we're gonna tie a double knot. So we got one here, and it always helps to do that second one so you're not slipping off the needle. So once you have that double knot, we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. We are going to tie a double knot. On this side as well. So it's gonna look something like that. So now that we have prepared our string, we are going to continue off where we left off. So we're doing it in sections. So now I can see that my leaf is coming off here. So we're gonna follow that pattern. I'm going to stitch right where I left off. So we're kinda of gonna go back through that stitch that we just made just to make sure that we are continuing a flawless design and then we are going to just continue on that path so i'm sticking my needle through sometimes you have to wiggle it a little bit and we want to make sure that there's no knotting going on and we are going to continue on doing our little back stitch continuing on into our next hole here and then going back through on the top end with our needle. And now we're gonna have a little bit of a lighter second layer of leaves. So if you do wanna switch up your colors, that is a fantastic way to do so. And we are just making sure that we're hitting all of those evenly spaced punched holes all the way through and around the leaf. And then we're also going to hit the other side. So for time purposes, I am not going to complete this entire thing 
on this video, but I wanted to make sure that this stitch was very crystal clear in how to go about doing the embroidery on canvas. So we're just going back and forth, back and forth until we've completed our leaf. And again, just a quick little reminder to consistently check the back side of your canvas. It's very easy for it to get knotted up. We want it to be a really nice, clean design on the back. And of course, with these little areas where we did tie that double knot, you can trim that down but we want it to be really nice and clean like that. So we're just gonna continue on threading through until we have completed our design. And we're not quite ready yet, but once I've gone all the way around and then I've continued on the other side, we'll do the exact same thing and we will just put our needle directly under our thread. We'll secure it down pull it through, and then we're just gonna trim that up so that we'll have a really nice, clean, pretty canvas. Hope you enjoy.